Do you, do you guys smell that? You know what that smell is? It's the smell of a new series. We voted last episode because uh, my loyalty lies to the Republic, to democracy. Is that what he says? I think, so. I think that's what it says. Anyway, look, we voted on a new series. Uh, the two top results were Lux and Victor, which I'm going to do. That's on the list. And that's probably going to take over from when the world stop makes sense because it's historical. I don't really want two historical CK2 series running in parallel because we need a series for shenanigans. And that'll probably be this one. So the other top voted response on that video was um, do a shattered world map. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to sort of alter it a little bit. So we're going to do shattered world. Don't worry about that. And we're going to do it. So that you guys vote on where we direct the series. So I'm going to call this series something along the lines of CK2 by committee. Um, and basically the top of vote response on each video will decide where the video goes. Where we're going to steer our empire. Where the characters are going to go. That type of thing. And hopefully we'll end up with a pretty weird series. And I'll also obviously have my own ideas here and there. What we should do that's best. But I imagine that's going to be overthrown. Because we are a democracy here for the most part. Um, let's start a new game. We are playing in what's essentially the mythos mad world mod pack but with mythos taken out because it is a buggy piece of shit and i can't stand another buggy series I, I, I don't have the time of the day for it um and with some extra little things added here and there but we'll, we'll cross that hurdle when we get there so we're gonna play in the earliest start date to make it the funnest as possiblest all right where are we gonna start that's the real question now i'll be honest with you i very rarely start in the byzantine empire so it's already taken my eye in fact i don't think i've done a proper byzantine start ever um so that might be where we go and you know what I think there's only one place to play. I think we play in Sparta. Now, where is Sparta? That's a great question. I think it's somewhere around here. I think this one is probably as close to Sparta as we're going to get. So, there we are. We're going to play in Monem Vesia. I don't know if that's how you say that. I'm going to assume it's not. But don't worry about it because we're not going to be grouped for long, my friends. So, the good thing about Shattered World is because the world is... Get ready for the Shattered. Um, you can basically play as however you want, really. It, it kind of... It, it, it's not only funny to play as, you know, say a Han Chinese Zoroastrian man, which very much might be what we're doing now. Um, but it's also sometimes a, a good idea strategically because obviously you can conquer and give those lands to men of your culture. All you have to worry about is peasant revolts, which if you're worrying about peasant revolts, probably shouldn't be playing CK2. So we're going to play as I've already decided we're going to play as a Han Chinese man. Um, I don't think I've ever played the Chinese culture either. So this is a, it's a day for learning for me. This is a learning series. What are we going to play as? I think there's only one religion we play as. Um, we're going to go for... Who are some of these religions I've never seen before. Canaanite? We have uh, Tamaz Tamazite? Sure. Uh, we're going to play it as the one true religion. Zoroastrian. Han Chinese Zoroastrian in Greece. Shattered world. Um, right. So we do have to design our man well and carefully. We're going to be at war a lot. So I'm actually going to get a brilliant strategist. Now I'm actually going to try and take as many of the best congenital traits we can this early on. Because those will obviously, you know, steer the series in our favour. Especially when we're playing a Zoroastrian. And we can obviously um, bone our daughter, to put it diplomatically. And that will in turn obviously give us more chance of keeping those congenital traits. Because she's our daughter. Maybe the ultimate goal should be to collect all the um, all the negative traits. Like inbred, dwarf, um, clubfoot, hunchback. All of those type of things. And become a real weird man. We're going to be an immaculate, prolific, fertile genius. Um, immaculate, brilliant prolific yeah okay th whatever i just said but that but right um i'd also like to take strong but honestly i don't think we've got the age for it and let's see if i can actually get us back to a decent age here dactyl webbing what does that do vassal opinion attraction opinion oh god marshall minus one as well maybe not then um starting from the top then let's become something that's going to reduce some age here um well you can take brilliant and simple well that doesn't make any sense at all let's ignore that one uh, what the hell? How am I going to balance this dude now? Genus? G G genus? Greedy? Or, as I'm now calling it, genus. Um, are we going to take greedy? Greedy is very good. It's not in the tax modifier. Well, it's not a tax modifier in this one. CK2+, plus. this is why I'm so bad at base game CK2. Because I get into my head, okay, this is a tax modifier. And then we actually take the trait greedy, greedy and it's no longer a freaking tax modifier. Okay, uh, it's cynical, naturally. Um... What do we want our defending traits to be? Our attacking traits, our army leading traits. We'll go for direct leader because that one is incredible. Um, we can only take direct leader, really? Is it is it that good that we can't pick anything else? Okay, let's try that again. Let's take um, Holy Warrior because everyone we're going to fight is going to be a holy enemy anyway. So that's actually probably not too much of a bad plan. Plus 30% flat damage. Hey, I'll take that. That's fine. Um, what do we want to actually take to reduce our age a little bit then, eh? Uh, what have we really got? Frail? That doesn't seem right. Dull isn't bad. Um... Dull essentially just allows us to 
obviously take brilliant, but we don't have to worry about inheriting dolls, so that would be very much playing for our next generation. Moneylender, free stewardship, so I'll definitely take that one. Def? What does Def do? Intrigue, diplomacy, personal combat. Ugh. We don't really want to originally sell personal combat, because I will also increase battlefield jewels to make the game fun. Minority culture, we are, so we'll take that one. That gives a very small chance of converting the provinces uh, adjacent to our capital there, so that's pretty fun to start if you're going for a minor culture here. We could take a minus 50, I suppose. We could take a minus 20. We could go something like, you know, I'm going to take the minus 50 and I'm going to say nothing else positive just to keep things um, relatively balanced a little bit. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to take ourselves a daughter, which we are going to marry immediately. In fact, we can take concubines as well. We can take four, four daughters. That's one wife, three concubines. Welcome to this series. Uh, hopefully this is a great start for it. First name, Sun. Uh, Sun Jiang. I'm going to need a name I'm going to pronounce and not sound like a racist. What's a good Zoroastrian last name? I actually have no idea. Uh, Sun is good. We're going to call you Sun Moon Moon. Moon Moon is not a Chinese name, nor is it Zoroastrian, nor is it Greek. But you know what? Sun Moon Moon sounds pretty good. Moon Moon, one of my favorite memes as well. So, uh, is, is it a dead meme? Is it a classic meme? I'm not sure. But wait till we actually get in the game before we change the coat of arms as well. It's something very important that's dear to my heart. But we'll have to wait until we've actually got everything set up. Low rules. What have we got? Um, these seem r wrong. Are they wrong? No, they seem pretty good, actually. Um, I'm restricted. Story events are off. Well, we will put story events. Yeah, no, story events can stay off. Otherwise, it might fuck with things. Uh, yeah, that seems actually pretty ridiculous. Aztecs run random, Mongols run random, Chinese can invade anyone and everyone. Excellent. Uh, Newcastle's Belli, that's obviously very, very good there. Now, near the bottom, I think we have to affect some of these. Faction Aggression. Um, we'll set that to default. Titles may get destroyed, we're going to turn that off. Just because I think it'll affect the AI losing and gaining territory a lot during the Shattered World. Trade post to free, succession crisis, yes, that's fine. Non-dynastic heirs, no. So we can't carry on the game if we lose our last dynasty member. That's kind of a treaty rule because it makes the game unlosable, literally. Fabricate climb rate, I don't think it's necessary, but I will set it to double just in case we're limited in terms of Cassus Belli. Rapid conquest, yes. That seems pretty much exactly what we need to keep the AI on track with, you know, forming those good kingdoms there. We can make everything tribal. Ha. Huh. Tribal rulers will be converted to feudal government on. No, no, no. We want just feudal to become tribal, but apparently... Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll just have everyone. Everyone is tribal. Welcome to a tribal world. Multiply compatibility, not relevant. Uh, hide no traits, because I want to be able to see what fucking traits I've got. Thanks, game. Ancient religions. Yeah, hey. Let's do it. Um, Pagan religion will be set based on local culture. Pagan... Specific religion will convert to pagan. Um... Pagan religion will be set on the location's region. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Ancient religions on. I'm in. Vanilla empires. Oh, I don't really care about that. Crusade delay. Doesn't matter. New world order. Yes. That's what we want. I think that's the shattered world one. Besides that, I think we are set, my friends. Let's save these rules just in case the game crashes and get on with it. Was this the biggest mistake I've ever made? Maybe. Maybe. But this series could be good. So, I don't know if I've... Mentioned it. I might have forgotten to mention it, but basically, we are. You're playing as a Greek iconoclast, Comes. Um, we're gonna give this series seven episodes, and then you can vote to keep the series or kill the series. At which point, we'll start with a new series, and then we'll give that one seven episodes, and then vote to keep or kill. Or if it's just doing well in terms of you know views and shit like that, then I will keep it around. Anyway, let's shatter ourselves a world. Um, yeah, but where's the button to do that though, friend? Uh, maybe I have to unpause it. Aha. All right, here we go. New World Order. Um, with this scenario, you can change the face of the map in a myriad of ways by dismantling the Christian empires and any lots of new kingdoms, which politic and shattering the world into... To which to politic? Oh, right, I see. Okay, to shattering the world into independent counts, blah, 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 blah. Independent counts, what do we think? Absolutely. Make every clan independent. Make it affect every man. Would I like to spare much republics? Yes, because otherwise apparently they don't reform so well. Would you like to enable certain rapid conquest cast of allies? Yes. Um, ancient religions, preferably. Would I like to generate up to two additional children? Holy shit, three wives? Absolutely. Nice. Hey, PC, you handled that pretty well. Would you like to run the new world order customization again? No, I think we are good. Welcome to CK2+. This is in beta. Don't worry about it. Hello, game. Um, is everyone tribal? News from hey, don't unpause my fucking game ever. Uh, oh my god, everyone is tribal. Uh, what have we done? Oh! <laughs> Wow, uh, so actually Venice is going to be ridiculously overpowered because they are the only surviving um, sort of republic level. Although they did lose everything there. They've technically only got a tribal village, which is nice to see. Um, holy shit, what the hell have we done? 
This is either going to be incredible or an absolute mess. I like that the Pope survived as well. That doesn't seem entirely fair. Should we conquest the Pope immediately to start off with? Make Rome our capital? That could be really fun. But I'm say Peter as well. He's actually got that one. Oh, shit. We're now Hellenic. Greco-Roman. Uh, religion. Zoroastrian. There we go. Problem solved. All right. We are a Zoroastrian in the sea of un-Zoroastrians. So the Zoroastrian is obviously alive and well because we are technically playing in the ancient religions. Hellenic. Kenanite, Alassan, uh, what's that, Kemetic, we've got Sahelian, Celtic is everywhere, Germanic in England and Germania, um, we have Nordic, this is going to be interesting, um, you know what, India looks relatively unchanged, I can imagine they didn't really bother with that too much, and we are obviously the only Zoroastrian man in the world, playing unfortunately in a Hellenic kingdom there, and we got ourselves a temple as well, are they independent or are they actually under us, um, they are under us, but I am going to try and take that from you if we can, uh, can we... I mean, we need religious fabrication to turn on before we can really do shit about that. What do we need for that? Legalism level 1? Hey, we can definitely do that. Wait, we've already got legalism level 1. What else do we need? Um, I think we need to actually be... Religious control mandate. Title revocation disallowed. Um, government is not tribal. Okay, we just need to not be tribal. Fair enough. Mazdan chiefdom. This is going to be weird. Daughters. How old are you? Moon Moon Rio Shan is ambidextrous. Excellent. Um... My other daughters came out really shit. Really? They didn't get any of my congenital traits? Damn it. Well, if I'd have known that, I probably wouldn't have, honestly, uh, set this up like this anyway. Let's, let's betroth ourselves to our lovely three-year-old daughter there. There's so much wrong with this series already. I'm not sure I like it. Chief Moon... And they're fucking Hellenic as well? Let me... Okay, I've got some things to fix. Hang on. All right, we had to let some time tick there for the minority culture and religion to kick in. There we are. We are now Han Zoroastrian. I've converted our many, many... Mate, uh, did I convert them all? Yeah, I convert all of the daughters to the one true faith of the Zoroastrian magical kingdom world forever. Uh, copyright, copyright. Let's set our first focus to, what do you think, war or business? Because we're tribal. I like the sound of that. So obviously, first things first, let's try and reform into feudalism because that will... Mud huts. I don't like that. I don't like mud huts. Why did you call it mud huts? Okay, let's build ourselves some fucking mud huts then for one prestige. Instantly built. Lovely, my delicious mud huts have been built. <laughs> Game of the year. Market Square, give me that Market Square. Why is that only one prestige though? Huh, weird. Um, Earth Hill Fort or Village Gathering Grounds, I want the taxing committee if you don't mind, so we will work on that one immediately as well. The Al Asnam Faith Triumph, I couldn't care less. Can we go to China? We're off. Oh no, we can't, we need to be a duke. Uh, send a eunuch. Who would like to go to China? This man, Theodotos, he's worth 850 points. Oh, he likes eunuchs as well. Holy shit. Free gold with China. Thank you very much. I aim to please. Oh, my God. Even he's feudal. <laughs> uh, tribal. Sorry. Even he's tribal. Whoops. Um, oh, well, never mind. Okay. So, um, I'm going to request from my good friend China a Chinese artifact. You know what would be very, 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 very OP right now? Siege engineers. We're immediately going to be able to move into properties and just siege them down. Holy shit. Broken game. I love it. My most sincere gratitude to the emperor. Make them commanders immediately. Hmm. I like this. We've got a grand total of 26 men because our troops have not reinforced yet. And you guys are fired in favor of the incredible Chinese men what I have hired into my court. Um, is she really the best we've got? Let's find characters. Search all. Reset. Join court. Yes. Uh, diplomacy. Invite to court. Welcome aboard. We need ourselves a Ho Toxan bod. Uh, welcome to court. And then we also need a Spazaka. I'll just check my YouTube comment section for that. <laughs> Band. Okay, Mobad, uh, you'll do, my friend. Welcome aboard. All right, excellent. There is the council set up and good, willing, raring to go, ready to bring salvation to the realm of Sparta. Now, we're going to rename this one from Monavasia because that is a shit name for shit people to Monavasia, Sparta. Nope, we need to make it more Zoroastrian, more Chinese. Um, Spa, Spa, oh God, no, I can't do that. It's going to be so racist. It's just a name for the capital in the comments below. For now, it's going to be Sparta. Um, because this is Sparta, Chancellor. Bashar, welcome aboard. My courtier, Zheng. She's much better. Spymaster, 17. Holy shit, we've already got a decent council. What happened to that other woman we invited? Oh, she's a woman. My mistake. Okay, sorry, we need a man with a man's knowledge. Um, welcome to court. Okay, right. Better than nothing, but still not great. Why do we need a priest so desperately? I'm actually not sure. I haven't decided that yet. I suppose I can build a zeal with him. Uh, you study tech at Constantinople, because I feel like that's probably still the best province even now. Have you got an eagle on your arm? Why have you got an eagle? Well, that's clearly... Is that an eagle? I think that is an eagle. Why have you got an eagle, friend? Does that help you want spying? She's our spy master as well. I don't understand this game sometimes. Um, you build me a legend. 
like the Will Smith movie that was pretty bad. And Verzog Farmada. Oh, no, that's not his name. That's his title. I'm sorry, my mistake. He's one to make. You, my friend, can uh, really do nothing at all. You, you've already got no point at this, at this stage of the game. All right, then. What do we want to do? We want to become king of Greece. What a first great aim to have. Let's do it. King of Greece. All right. Um, we haven't got any troops. Well, we've actually got no troops at all, so I guess we're going to... I guess now we play the waiting game. You know, while we're playing the waiting game, my favorite game, we can give away some titles. So, designated regnant. Um, we're going to give that to... Constantios, you can be my regent. Court physician. Um, Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, Ray, what's going on can be my court physician. And Adrianos, the court educatarios, can be our educator there. Um, actually, there's someone better with, with preferably patience and humility and diligence. Bashar, my friend, you're winning me over more and more. My Shawaraz, sh whatever that is. Uh, the boar of the empire. Bessie. Adrianos, is shimmy down a Bobby B for that one. My cardigan. Um, I don't think we necessarily need those in Greece, but that can be Anatolios. My Shyan can be Zheng, and my... That word can be Constantios again. He's getting all the jobs. Commander? Why did we only get one Chinese commander there? I feel a little bit betrayed by China. Uh-huh. Oh, no, we did get out of the Chinese commanders. They were just pretty shit, actually. Um, where the Leopard Siege for 50%? Yeah, whatever. Obviously, they're only be useful on the flanks, because we're going to be leading our troops in the center, because of A... Our fairly decent marshal and B, our um, holy warrior trait, which is going to affect basically everyone because we are a holy warrior. Next thing on the list for me to do right now is uh, none of this shit. Get out. There we go. All right, Moon Moon, let's work on your family crest. Um, the head of a horse, the greatest crest to have. Uh, it's a horse cup, the legendary artifact of Clan Moon Moon. The horse cup flanked by a fish and uh, what else do we find on our flag very frequently? The horse cup deer. It looks kind of like a giraffe. That's my attempt at a giraffe anyway with a fish. I like this. This is a good flag. Uh, we need to give it some decent color in there because that's very inappropriate. What? There's new colors in CK2+. Plus. A bright yellow. I've never been so pleased. All right. With this bright yellow, I can do great and terrible things. Uh, let's go for a nice... Yeah, a nice sort of wine red on a peach color there. Seems pretty appropriate. What's color 10? Um, a light blue on a blue is actually too close. That one's horrible. I like that. Um, what else have we got then? Uh, what about a nice, no, bright red works too well. So does it, uh, you know what? The green's pretty good. And for the emblem, we are going to have ourselves the Dove of Peace to represent all the wars we are about to fight. This is the Dove of Peace that we hunted to death. Um, the scales of justice showing that a balance needs to be struck between fucking your daughters and conquesting Greece. We're going to have ourselves the Pigeon of Faith in accompaniment with the Dove of Peace. Um, it's basically just the dove's mate that he brought along. And then finally, we're going to have the, um, dancing bear of, um, vermicillitude. <clears throat> Moving on. Alright, so what's next? Uh, well, really, we've got to wait for our troops to reinforce. We've got 36 men. Are we going to conquer Greece with 36 men? If we have 300, I might change my mind, seeing as this is part of... Oh, actually, we have 700 men. I was going to say, if we've got exactly 300 men, that would be incredible. Um, or at least around 300 men. You know what? These are reinforcing pretty quickly. Good job. Marshall. Did I actually set him to do the right job? I did. Okay. Whew. Thought I was going to make an ass of myself there on YouTube. Wouldn't that be a shame? What else can we do with China? We can send them a commander. Um, your commander for my commander. Here you go, friend. You can have Adrianos. He's wounded or severely injured. Ah, oh, you prick. Um, okay, well, what we'll do then? We know we can send him a commander. So let's go to the character finder and find a character to actually send him. Join court. Yes, preferably. Join court. Yes, preferably. Um... Huh, these are all pretty terrible. So they need to have a martial education, unfortunately, and there aren't many that want to join us right now. So, uh, well, I suppose I'll just try and send him, like, this dude. He's not great, but it'll do. Invite to court. I'm going to send you off for points to China. We'll see if you're worth more than anyone else in my court. All right. Points for China. Send a commander. You, my friend, get to have... Um, she would be a... Wait, I thought they had to have a military education. I guess they don't, eh? Okay, well, that's heighten the list again. Back to the commander tab. Uh, who have we got? Uh, you, my friend. Saud, you are getting sent to China on a nice holiday. It's a holiday, I promise. All inclusive. Uh, except the only thing not included is going to be your testicles when you're sent off. Um, okay, we actually can't send... Oh, we can send him, but he's worth basically no points. Fuck it. Zhang, hey, off you go. Excellent. I am to please the emperor. Oh, shit. She was one of my... God damn it, she's my steward. No, I don't want a Greek man as my steward. Let's find a better steward. Can't believe you've done this. Oh, this guy's incredible. Thank God I actually got rid of my steward in exchange for this man instead, then, eh? Welcome aboard. I like your face. You look very confused constantly, and that's exactly what I need my chancellors to be doing. Confusion. 
Okay, have we got any men yet? Have I killed enough time to, to do a man? Um, don't take that out of context. 173 men. Societies to join. Hermetic society, I'm in. Why, why can't I join? Um, oh shit, we're tribal. We can't join the Hermetic society. Racists. How is anybody in the Hermetic society? What the fuck? Hey, get out of there. You're tribal. Uh, I feel a little bit. I feel a little bit sad. One of these must be true. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine, yeah. Okay, one of these must be true. Is nomadic. Or is... I guess those were people that started the game in the society. It's time, my friends. 308 men from Sparta. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it. But you know what? This dude, Mathoni, he's annoyed me. Why has he annoyed me? I haven't decided yet. But you know what's going to happen? That's right, we're going to conquer the shit out of him. Actually, we could holy war him. Uh, well, actually, we can't. We're just going to conquer him. Ignore everything I just said. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city and steps. You insult my queen and threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Chief uh, Basilios of Methone. Perhaps you should have done the same. I think is what he says during the movie 300. Okay then, let's actually head to war with my 300 Spartan men. Reinforcing at 12 soldiers per month. Led by Q? No. Led by Sun Moon Moon, the legendary commander of Sparta. 270 men attack them at half morale, even though they have the hill's advantage. It won't stand for nothing. Because, as we well know, their numbers will count for nothing there. Okay, uh... Damn, it was running a bit slow there. Did you see that? I was a little worried we were going to have a crash. Oh, fuck off with that. Really? You could muster 300 men, but you can't apparently muster... You got 200 people to... Uh, 304 defending your village? Okay, fair enough. Um, well, I see what we're going to have to do here. We're going to have to stand in our province and reinforce for ages. Thank God I didn't waste my time declaring a war that we couldn't win, eh? Note to self, check the garrisons next time, stupid. Uh, reinforcing 12 soldiers a month. So next month, the Spartans return. Act 2, electric boogaloo. Excellent. And we can siege them down 8% every 12 days. All right, we're going to be here for about 16 years. Strap yourselves in. What in the fuck is this? 600 and... How did you get that many men? What did he do? He hired 500 men, you coward. We shall fight them in the shade, by which I mean in the defensive bonus that we get from the hills in this province. Fight me. They're actually attacking with barely any morale here, so this is going to be a massacre for us. As in, we're going to massacre them. We're not going to... We're not going to get massacred. Yay. Get fucked. Yeah, Sparta. Undefeated. By which I mean, slightly defeated. They're coming back. Round two. Eventually, they might just win based on luck. No. Winning again. We're doing so much winning. Holy shit. Where do you get? And he just got rid of those troops because I guess he couldn't afford them anymore. Holy shit. He actually... <laughs> what a fool. Oh, that's so good. Um, Unfortunately, his garrison is still holding strong. And we don't have nearly enough men to be able to take them out there. 309. That's not what the movie was called either. Why? Why, game? I'm speaking in tongues, screaming obscenities at random time, most often when the herbad preaches fuck, and I am sometimes lying on the ground, cunt writhing in apparent pain, be gone, foul demon. I can't believe that. Why have we why have we got that? Just randomly possessed. General opinion minus ten. Hey, fuck you too, game. You know what? Sparta doesn't roll over and die like this, so we're gonna go and attack them now. Have we got enough men to deal with this? Uh three hundred and twelve men, so if we lose too many men during this combat, we're screwed. Hey, we're fine. Alright, take two. Now you watch as our troops die to some siege related event. Where we suddenly do not have enough troops after that to actually take this out. We could just assault it. No. Stay strong, my friends. Please, no siege events. Please, for the love of God, I need this war to be over. And then we can start writing a book and all those important things. Oh, yes. We're getting so lucky here. Please. Game, don't slow down. We've done it. Holy shit. Finding me is the only one we want. And we actually got the trait just as well for trying to capture a man. That's incredible. Offer peace and force to one. Thank you. I'll be taking that one if you don't mind. Yes. Glorious Sparta has expanded. We are now the biggest. No, we're not. Who's this man? I was going to say we're the biggest province nearby, but we're really not. Okay. Well, you know what? We, we absolutely tried. What's our duchy? We should probably try, try going for a duchy. Eh? Uh, it's these four provinces here. Okay. We're going to try and become a duke before I die. Um, We're only 24, so we don't really worry about that too much. How old is our wife? She's six. Uh, let's go ahead and educate her so she gets a good opinion of us for educating her. And other daughter as well. Secondary backup daughter. You get educated too. Everybody gets educated by this beautiful, lovely man. Um, not quite happy about getting possessed immediately, but it does help with our personal combat, I suppose. So that's not too terrible. Mathoni, you get a market square and some mud huts as, me as well. Sorry. Excuse me? <laughs> Completely threw me off thanks. I thought that was my young child. Hey, fuck off. There's only one person for me, and that's my six-year-old daughter. Mud Huts, done. Our next goal, unify the realm under the glory of Zoroastrianism. Go and... 
Sorry, unify, reform, what's the word? Help me. Uh, proselytize? Sure. Anyway, crucify those heretic Hellenic Greeks in Greece. You know what, it's not entirely their fault, but I would prefer it if they were, uh, obviously, obviously the glorious religion of Zoroastrian here. Uh, we can't hold temple holdings. You know what we can do, though? We could revoke it and then, uh, pillage it. What do you think? We could, we could just pillage that title. I'd like to, but how could we do that? We could grant independence and then just declare war on him. Thoughts? I think that's a good idea. That will also give us some gold. Honestly, we're not getting anything from it right now in terms of either taxes or in terms of troops. Because he fucking hates us. And despite the fact that he has 216 men, he's providing us with absolutely none. Um, mainly because we're tribal and he is, uh, he is obviously theocracy and a different religion also plays into it. Um, then afterwards, we can declare warning when we get enough prestige or when we wait for, the, wait for the truth to end. And then torch the church and take the money from it instead. That seems like a good plan. We could also just... Hang on, if I'm not mistaken, you could also just do that and raid in your own capital, can't you? Oh shit, we can't... Yeah, yeah, looted. Is that actually... We, we can just do that then? Looted? Hmm, I thought you could do that, but I guess not. Uh, why have we... Why have we inherited this one back? Wait, we actually just got that one back. Uh... Did, did I miss something? Begin pillage. Excellent. Um, so begin pillage. We pillage every six months until all the buildings and the holdings are destroyed. Um, however, the holding itself will not be destroyed. It will increase revolt risk in exchange you receive the following. Or we can pillage it, which, uh, I mean, let's just begin pillage, whatever, just fucking get on it, friends. Okay, pillage the holding, give us some gold. What else we got? We got a city shrine in there, which we definitely want to pull apart. Uh, if we hold that ourselves and actually build it up, would it be worth it? Probably not. Let's just burn it down. Why not? Um, or we could give it someone of our religion. Uh, that might not be a bad plan, All right? You know, stop the pillage. I've changed my mind. Uh, give it to a man who is going to love us greatly because we have landed him. There you go, my hand Chinese friend. And brother in arms. Now what we're going to do is learn from your mistakes. And actually 800 men. Oh, I suppose they haven't got any troops raised. What about uh, Corinthos? Can we siege you? No, nothing. Well, we can technically get a little bit of gold from them here or there. But I would like to actually break these provinces down before we go and attack. And declare war on them. Yang Jing is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Hey, good for her. And she became thrifty. Oh, sorry, shrewd. Curious. Which will become shrewd that you gain from thrift. My brain was trying to interpret too much there. Alright, um, you guys come home, because honestly, I don't really want to keep you guys raised paying six gold a month to try and get back two gold a month in loot. What we want to do is actually just wait for our troops to reinforce at this point and actually build them up as and when we can. Village gathering grounds. Tax income plus 0 0.5. That's probably not a bad plan. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to do that. And over in Mathoni, oh, I actually got village gathering grounds being built there already. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm going to basically spend all the prestige buffing up Sparta this early on, so that when we become feudal, this will flip into a pretty decent city without us having to worry about it. That will also give us an incredibly good um, leg up compared to our comparators nearby. Let's get 100 gold for free. Hey, that's pretty nice of you. Our thriving economy is good for the ram, and now what can we do? We can compose a book. Complexity of war, intricacies of relationships, managing a ram or family history. Well... I'm going to go with stewardship because the stewardship books are broken, as I've explained a hundred thousand times. Make a large sacrifice, undergo cleansing ritual, or celebrate no ruz. Um, I'm going to do all of these things because I can. Excellent. I pray the O Mazda Ahura. Uh, we're going to gain 25 piety. Temple vassal opinion plus 10 and month's piety plus 0 0.5. That's fine. War. Morale of armies plus 15%. Levy reinforcement rate plus 15%. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, build cost build time minus 5 and 20%. Christy. Uh, technology split rate plus 20%, or none of them. It was a silly idea. I will take, um, Mithra, associated with war. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, what was the other thing we did? We did some sort of feast, right? The Nobras feast? Your Mobad army has been discovered charging money. If we stay intolerable, chuck him in prison, and then take the money from him. That's a pretty good way to make some free money. You've never been so annoyed. Uh, do you want to come back, though? Why not? Uh, imprisoned? Possessed, recently fired. You stole my money, you prick. Plot the kidnap him. Bring him back. I want my money. Um, I'm going to happily also pay money to bring this man back to my court and get my money off him. Same gift, 15 gold to try and get back 100 gold. That seems fair. That seems like a good plan to me. All right, we'll leave that plot going and see how it how it, how it it runs in the background there. All right, um, peddlers, let them in. What do we want to put on the table? The Gathas, the poetry book, or I've changed my mind. 25% chance of getting cynical, but we gain prestige. Prestige is way more useful as tribal, so I will take the prestige if you don't mind, my friend. Tell us about Hindustan, which sounds like something my grandparents would say. Distribute gold among the people. I would rather receive the gifts. Lose 50 prestige, we gain 75 gold. Do you know what? That seems fair. And we'll take a eunuch courtier named Theodoros. 
Hello, Theodorus. What can you do for me? Uh, pretty much nothing, I'll be honest with you. Everyone likes me more because we held a pagan feast. Excellent. Um, my Mobad, you can try and proselytize your province. How many men have we got? Six, 762. Shit, still not enough to take out the garrisons, eh? Um, a little bit of a problem, so we are actually going to have to expend a decent amount of prestige as well. Now, I've got to remember to take that back when we can, which is going to be a while yet. Yeah. What do we want here? Uh, we could get light cavalry, really. Ah. Huh. Although, seeing as we're struggling with sieging, I might just go for 150 troops for 200 prestige instead. Actually, you know what here? No, fuck that. We'll focus on taxes from provinces that aren't our capital instead. So what we're going to do, rather than gambling with him randomly gaining armies every, you know, it's 15% yearly, so on average every 15 years there. Instead, what we'll do... That's not right at all. That's not... <laughs> that's how averages work. Um, more or less every sort of five, six years or so. Instead of more or less every five or six years, instead we'll have a mobility in construction, which is a guaranteed outcome. So I'd rather have that. We'll obviously construction in Sparta and actually instead just, you know, build up our army the old-fashioned way rather, rather than relying on the luck of a man who I don't really trust because apparently he's really bad at statistics and numbers there. All right, basic village hall. Um, what do I want? I want to get that um, mustering ground, if you don't mind, my good friend, because that seems like it's going to give us a decent amount of troops, of which we can raid with, of which we can siege down many a garrison. This fucker had a son. Hey, did you raise it with my... M oh, no, wait, that's not him. Sorry, I'm just being a racist. Who was the guy that stole my money? Uh, oh, he's gone. <sighs> I guess that's money I'm never getting back. All right, then. Never mind. We are going to leave this episode here. Let me know what you think of Chief Moon Moon's son of Sparta, the Zoroastrian Han Chinese man with five daughters, all of which he's going to marry at some stage. Don't forget to leave your suggestions for what to do next episode. Guide this series and the most upvoted comments will be the ones I take advice from and actually follow because that would be a bit pointless if I didn't follow exactly what you asked me to do. Thank you, and shout out to my top tier ridiculous patrons. Big Dick, Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Randers, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspiracy, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Whitman for their support on this series. Of course, shout out to other patrons as well, including Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Wintoniak, Necrophilum, Felix Steele, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble S, Quit Lutchley, Zara Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palpatine, I am the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Euron DeVries, Euphrates, John Connie 2 and 7, Jordan Campbell, Asro, and Sardini for their support, and everybody else on Patreon, as well, whose names I cannot read because, by God, it would take up so much longer of the video. Let me know what you think of this series as an idea. It was obviously voted on by you guys, so hopefully some of you like it anyway. And of course, We'll see you next episode.